Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this tutorial, we are we are going to learn about what is retesting and when we should do it. As a software tester, you should be clear about the what is the major difference between a regression and a retesting. So in this video, I'm going to explain step by step what is retesting and when you should do. All right, so let's get started. So before that, I would highly recommend you to watch my API testing tutorials if you haven't watched it. Uh, do check out the Selenium interview questions and answer tutorial. I have made a series of tutorials around it. If you are interested in Cybrus, definitely do check out the Cybrus tutorial also. Okay, so if you want to get some more, uh, if you want to move from manual to automation, I have created lots of videos around it. I will highly recommend you to check 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 these videos also. Right. So what is a uh, retesting? Let me talk about it. Basically means that testing a bug that has been fixed already. Okay. So most of the time, uh, as you can see that uh, what we do is that tester finds a bug, right? It logs a bug into a certain uh, test management tool. And after that developer fixed it. So when developer fixed that thing, you are checking that if the bugs is fixed or not, right? So this is known as retesting. So now the tester has to verify the bug, right? And this is known as retesting. This is how it's look typically look like. So uh, in the software testing life cycle, what we have is that whenever any kind of bug or issue is found, you have to retest the functionality that is working or not, right? So when should we do the retesting? This is very important, guys. Trust me, uh, lots of time people will try to confuse you with the re regression and retesting. So this is the answer of that. So in the retesting, those test cases are included, which were failed earlier, right? So if you are basically testing a calculator and if two plus two is failed, you need to run rerun this test case rather than running the other functionality because the bug was there in this two plus two calculation, right? So retesting ensures that the issue has been fixed and is and the fix that is that the developer has made is basically fixed now. And retesting is done by replicating the same step that you have early, done earlier to produce that bug, right? So, and trust me guys, it's a plan testing with the proper steps. And in some test cases, the entire module is required to test, but yeah, we are just ensuring that the whatever the developer had made a fix, we are testing only those scenarios. Example of retesting, it's very simple one. For example, this is a simple uh, form, which is save and delete button. Now, suppose that save button is not working. So what you will do is they will fix it and the tester has to take the, test the functionality of save button only, not the de delete button because delete is already, uh, we don't, uh, basically we have found the bug in save functionality, right? So, and similarly, we have uh, a login example where we basically do the retesting, right? So some po points about the retesting, this is important guys. Defect verification is a part of retesting. You are basically verifying the defect. Retesting is a plan testing. Basically you plan everything and then you do the retest. Retesting is done only for the failed test cases, not for the all the test cases. Retesting just make sure that the original fault that has been found or any kind of bug that has been found is fixed or not. So now it's a major difference between the retesting and regression and lots of lots of time people will are going to ask this question in your interviews or in your daily qsi qa life okay so retesting it's do it's basically to confirm the test that is failed right and in the final execution passing after the defect is fixed or not basically we are testing only the part where the defect is there regression is to confirm whether a re the recent program or any kind of new code changes has been basically going to affect the re remaining functionality or not. So that's when we do the regression part. New code changes, basically the retesting is done on the new code changes or a fix to the bug. Whereas regression, we are checking the bug fixes as well as the old functionality, which, which may get impacted into it, right? So retests are not automated. Most of the retests are not automated. Regression can be automated, right? Only bug in the re retesting, as I uh, have told you, that only we are testing the bug fixes. Whereas in regression, nearly all the test cases are checked and retest. Basically, this is known as regression, right? So this is a very simple example. Regression testing is basically testing all the all kind of different different uh, modules that you have. Where retesting is just a similar module that where the bug we have found, right? 
it's a very simple one so uh, i hope you have liked this video it, uh, this was a very simple example of how retesting uh, what is a retesting and when you should do it the retesting right and i have given you two uh, awesome examples right so don't forget to subscribe uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video i hope you have got a new information in from this video let me know in the comments what you think about it and see you in the next video bye